There's a huge difference between, obviously, spending Christmas in the snow and spending Christmas in the sand. Um, I think it's cool to experience um, both sides of it. Um, I'm fortunate enough to have, I mean, growing up in Southern California, but going to my grandparents in Lake Tahoe, it's nice to, to have both, to experience a relaxed Christmas um, where you decorate a palm tree and, you know, you wear the Christmas colors, but you're in lighter clothing. And I don't know, I just think it's a fun experience to have, but I obviously love going to my grandparents and being in snow and making snow angels and drinking hot cocoa and sitting by the fire. It's, it's, a, it's a cozier experience. I was in Bali for um, a show and I, I, I went there a week early to have some time off and I went to this beautiful island and I knew right when I got home a few weeks later that I had to start recording my Christmas songs and so when I was in Bali I had to listen to the Christmas songs and narrow them down and, and um, make acoustic versions to send back to California to my dad to have him start building up the tracks for. So and it started the whole experience of Christmas in the sand because I was in my bathing suit in Bali and listening to Christmas songs, playing them and singing them onto my iPad and um, having to decide which, which songs were going to go on the album. It's funny how it started for this record. When I was in my writing session with Jason Reeves and Carity Aguardi, um, we started writing this song called um, Every Day is Christmas. We were talking about how when January comes, it's kind of a, a sad thing because you had that whole hype of the holidays with your family and decorating and then you have to take everything down and everyone goes home and how when you're with someone that you love you it kind of feels like it's Christmas every day you wake up with them next to you it's like a present every single day and that's where we got the inspiration for that song and just um, being reminded that the people that you're with that when you get to see them every day it's a, a really lucky thing a lucky feeling my song Christmas in the Sand, um, I got inspired when I was in Hawaii and um, I was sitting on the beach with my friends and family and we were talking about possibly spending Christmas um, in Hawaii the next year. I wanted to write a song for the people in tropical warm places. I'm from Southern California and I know what it's like to wake up with the sun shining on Christmas Day and it being hot outside. And so I wanted to not always have Christmas music be about um, the snow, having a white Christmas and bundling up. I, I wanted to show how other people around the world uh, experience their holiday seasons as well. When I was deciding how to do this record, I knew I wanted my dad to produce it because he's an amazing producer. He's produced uh, multiple songs on a, f a few of my albums. And then having duets, I knew I wanted a multiple duets on this record. Um, I love Gavin DeGraw's voice. I was going to be touring with him. I had written with him. We were friends and I thought he'd be the perfect person to do a duet um, on Baby It's Cold Out with me. And when I did the the version um, of Merry Christmas Baby, we, we did the Bruce Springsteen version where it's kind of like rock, bluesy country. And I wanted that to be a duet as well. And so I thought um, an amazing country singer would be Brad Paisley and he could play guitar on my song as well and um, he was kind enough to sing on the record um, and also the Christmas song I had Justin Young sing on that song with me and um, the crispness in his voice and how soothing and soft it is it's just a, a perfect duet for holiday music um, I think it's gonna be nice for people to listen to by the fire I wanted that duet because I heard Nat King Cole and Natalie Cole's duet of it and um, it made me want to make that song a duet as well. My advice for new artists would be to learn your craft, whatever it is. Um, it's really difficult um, being in this business and if I had been more prepared, um, like I had been told to do, um, if I would have listened to people more, I would have been ready for this business and, you know, doing interviews and TV performances and playing shows on tour every night and traveling and flying every single day and living on a tour bus and in a hotel room, you know, you're not ready for any of that. So prepare yourself for what's to come, play, practice your guitar, practice piano, take vocal lessons and try to go out there and perform live as much as you can because you got to get, you got to get used to that. <laughs>